Welcome. Our students at Western are juggling a lot of different responsibilities beyond the challenges of inside the classroom. Outside of class, students are working. Sometimes students are working one, two, three jobs. Students are balancing personal relationships, caretaking relationships, caretaking for a child, taking care of their parents. Finances is one of those in a lot of cases where students um, are trying to figure out how do you financially afford college, how do you financially afford to live, and find the time to do everything that they need to do to be successful. System shut down. Who am I? I am a person. I'm a waiter. I'm a student. The student's probably first. My name is Ashley. Uh, I am studying physical therapy assistant at here at Virginia Western. I'm Latrice Hilton. I am studying currently medical coding and I am also doing the business administration for medicine as well. I'm Nicholas Flournoy, I go by Nick, and I'm studying technical studies, which is an associate's degree combined of two of the trade programs, which would be construction management and building trades. So my name is Sungula Ayamba and I'm a construction engineer. Yeah, uh, I'm Austin Pryor. I'm the coordinator of retention and student success here at Virginia Western. In that, I work to help students be successful and achieve their goals. Um, everything from one-on-one -on -one meeting with students who are struggling to figure out a path to success. What are ways that we as a college can better help them meet their needs and help them get towards that finish line? Just juggling everything that life can have can sometimes pull my focus away. The biggest thing is probably work, I because uh, I'm also I'm roughly full-time there. I have to like balance it and know sometimes you gotta sacrifice free time. I feel like I'm very unorganized, but I'm, some people are like, oh yeah, he's organized. But me, I feel like I'm, I'm not there yet, but I just try to stay focused and the end result, that's what I look for, is what I'm gonna get out of it at the end. I'm very busy with, um, you know, taking care of my family, because my, my dad and my mom, they don't, they don't really, they can't drive. So I'm the one that be taking them to work. If I'm taking like a lot of credits, you need that time to you know study and like you know. But I don't really get that time because I'm always busy just taking them places and stuff. You know I juggle pretty well, um, but other than that, I, I don't have children or anything like that. I I have a a boyfriend who has been very supportive and my best friend really through this whole thing. I think we also see students um, having a lot of challenges finding that balance, um, particularly when they come right out of high school. Some are really successful at it, some really struggle with it, um, and part of it is finding that balance between all of those different factors to, to how to move forward successfully and, and how to be able to get towards um, what they're looking to do. Oh, well, I mean, it's all week is pretty hectic. My mom is a pastor. So my Sundays are often taken up with that. I'm either watching football with my dad or, unfortunately, when football's not playing, I guess I should do schoolwork. I go to church on Sunday mornings. I have choir rehearsal. Some Sundays I have two choir rehearsals. When I return home, I go and get me something to eat and then go online, study, read. I wake up at 4 a.m. every day so I can go to the gym and then I come home and get ready for the day and I study or do homework and meal prep. This is what we do on Sundays. We come in and we get our food for the week and then we, we meal prep. Then I go to school. So I would wake up around 7 or 8. I watch lecture videos for my classes. I have like two morning classes, one at 9 and one at 12, come back home. I have another class around 2. I come home and I watch another lecture video that I go to school. I usually work about 6.30 to about 3 o'clock. We have times where we work during the day, work during the night, come back first thing next morning. Can't be late neither. Then work um, four to five days a week, and those are all eight-hour shifts from 3 to 11. And more importantly, I have my classes in the mornings, and then I look over the notes and everything from the online classes on Tuesday and Thursday. Monday, Wednesday is my short day. We have one class. Also on Monday, Wednesday, I go see my person at their house for their exercises right after. Tuesday, Thursday is my really long day where I have to be on campus from eight to four. I come back home and then my parents are ready. 
took them to work. I had to come back home, start doing my homework. On Mondays, I will be studying. I will be listening to lectures. On Tuesday, I will do the same. On Wednesday, I will be in here. On Thursday, I have exams. This one class, my exams are due on Friday. If, I have a lot of siblings. All of us in total are 12 kids. So the youngest, they're, they're still young, so I have to babysit them and kind of watch them. Oh, I guess also on Tuesday, I'm in the Roanoke Valley Community Band. That doesn't feel like an obligation. Sometimes if I have a day off, I will volunteer for the Jefferson Center or Milt Mountain Playhouse. Now on Saturday, I finish up any work I have left for the week, and I always work ahead if I can, and I pretty much always work on those Fridays and Saturdays. That's it. I don't really have a whole lot of room for anything else. It's a fun week, yeah. Yeah, and that's how my day goes. We can continue to show students the resources, but only if they use them. Um, is, is when it matters. They come here with these big dreams and aspirations and sometimes aren't sure that that is someplace they can actually get. So being able to help them see that, yes, it's possible, and then seeing them transfer and, and, and go out into the workforce um, and be able to get to the place where they wanted to be when they came here. And I, knowing that I'm gonna graduate without any debt, knowing that I can just go ahead and <laughs> start what I wanna do, all I wanna do is help people. <laughs> this allows me the opportunity to find my career, like my vocation that I feel called to, yeah, this is all gonna be very worth it. I will be able to move from just doing something that I have to do. It's gonna be something that I really will like. It won't be at someone else's discretion. It will be at me, from me, from my perspective. I do what I have to do because I have a goal in mind. We come from a, a really poor family. It really means a lot to me. And if, you know, that's why I'm putting all this work, make a better life for myself and my parents, because they didn't really experience that as kids. And that's the reason why they brought me here to America to get that, you know, that better life for myself and for them. Yeah, so it's, it's really worth it. Me putting this hard work in now, as my years go on and I grow, I'll be able to look back and say I did my best. I did everything I could do.